morning, good afternoon. My name is Saeed Al Ajou. I'm a senior director of uh, sales at Uniphonic. I look after the new business and the growth of our new business across uh, Uniphonic in a global uh, fashion. And yet again, we're super excited to be at Seamless in 2024. Another year for us, another fantastic booth. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, day one. Sai, the Uniphonic has a big booth at Seamless this time. I would like to know what's your association with Seamless and what's the history of being at Seamless and what objectives are you trying to achieve through Seamless? So this is our third year at Seamless. Uh, it's an event that we've, uh, or a conference that we've grown to love. We participate in the UAE and in Saudi. Uh, we feel it's an event that's very important uh, for our dynamic and our ecosystems of partners, competitors, and other technology players in the same or in the similar space. We see a lot of our customers uh, and partners that participate in the event. So for us, we see the event growing every year. So we see it's an event that adds a lot of value to us, and it's an event that we continue participating in, and we will continue to do so in the future. Adding quite a lot of value, I can see the, your booth's presence and a lot of people here uh, coming to see the booth. So, so I'll let me ask you on the technology front. Uh, Uniphonic is bringing conversational AI to the UAE for the first time, it seems. So tell me about the technology and why now and what's the importance of this technology? So, so conversational AI is, is obviously now kind of a democratized fashion of AI, which has kind of hit you know, uh, the retail consumer or the day-to-day -day consumer. Um, in the context of, you know, are we bringing it in? I wouldn't say we're bringing it, but we're obviously, you know, playing a heavy role and participating into really sort of uh, pushing it in uh, across the region. Retail is a massive industry across the region. You know, there's a lot of spending power in the region uh, across all countries uh, in the GCC and the wider Middle East. And we see that conversational AI really is a way of bringing the shopping experience with a human touch into people's hands on their phones, on their favorite applications, on their favorite messaging applications as well, to really make that experience seamless, enjoyable um, as possible. Uh, AI and machine learning technologies are reshaping the business landscape in this region. How are you looking to tie up with partners over this technology or are bringing your technology to the forefront of businesses in this region? So AI has multiple facets to it, right? You know, you have you know the data side of AI, you have the application side of AI, and then you obviously have the output of how it delivers to the end consumer. You know, we play a role, of course, in the conversational side, which is essentially bringing in, uh, let's say, a human touch to how you would converse with an entity and organization. Our technology powers that with our proprietary, uh, you know, models, our proprietary AI technology to create virtual assistants, virtual bots in that sense to kind of help that AI component as well. But we also work with ecosystem partners to kind of enrich our offering as well, where we can understand you know, user behavior a little well, better, we can predict user behavior as well, and also have the data play where we can actually understand you know, kind of the data aspect of, uh, of AI as well. So, Saeed, uh, uh, I, let me ask you about how brands connect with uh, customers in terms of upcoming AI powered solutions that Uniphonic is working on. How do you associate with brands in this region? So brands would use Uniphonic and others uh, in a way whereby you would have, let's say, the, the acquisition, the marketing side of things or the shopping experience side of things where you would interact with a brand uh, for information purposes on, you know, for example, you're speaking with a virtual agent or virtual assistant to help you through your journey with the brand to find what you're looking for or where the brand might have some predictability on offering you uh, specific products based on your behavior and what it knows about you. So that's the AI piece there as well. And on the other side as well, there is obviously the support side where we work with a lot of brands and customers on uh, the contact center side, the customer support side, where there is a lot of AI there where you might have things around understanding sentiment analysis, you know, understanding how to classify users in terms of you know, rooting them to the right agent, the right support to ensure that that experience is also catered for as well. So we make sure that we cater to the entire journey of the user or the entire journey of the consumer with brands. Said, let me ask you on this, uh, you are looking at markets like Turkey and Pakistan. Tell me your, a bit of uh, technology being introduced in that market and what transformation is happening throughout those markets. So, you know, I, I can't speak to specific markets in, in general, but what we do see is that, you know, we've entered Turkey through a, a, an acquisition of ours and we're expanding there. We see that Turkey is a, is a fantastic market with a large population, uh, very technologically savvy as well. 
Same thing with Pakistan. There's over 200 million people in Pakistan as well. It's a very digitally and tech savvy country as well. So we really put a presence there to leverage and capitalize on opportunities we see in those markets as well. And for the remainder of the region, you know, we still have presence in Saudi, the UAE, uh, in Egypt and in Jordan. And that gives us coverage across the region, right? Different countries are at different stages of maturity. Obviously, there's a lot of regulation that plays a role in terms of how you can push out products and solutions. So we adapt as quickly as possible in terms of you know, the maturity of the industry and the regulation as well. Said, let me ask you SaaS solutions. Will it become the new critical asset for industries undergoing digital transformation? I mean, look, SaaS solutions have been there. I think today you know, we see organizations that are really being transformative and much more receptive to you know, new players on the market, more agile solutions, more agile offerings. Um, you know, consu customers today want solutions that can be deployed quickly, that can add value quickly, and we're very responsive to that. We really base our product strategy, our innovation strategy, based on understanding our customers' requirements, our customer needs, and we innovate that way as well. It allows us to respond to the market a lot quicker and deliver our SaaS solutions a lot quicker as well. So we really see that it's really about you know, speed of delivery, speed of agility for our customers. And Syed, what are you excited about latest technologies coming into this part of the world and how do you see? Let me ask you this way, what trends do you see down playing down the line in this coming years in this market? Look, I think we touched on AI, right? I think AI is still a very nascent technology. It's still very new in how we're using it. We're discovering more and more use cases and applications uh, for it on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's going to continue to be the trend. Um, I think it's a trend. I don't think it's just a trend. I think AI is very much here to stay. It's going to play a bigger role in shaping our everyday lives, our customers' everyday lives. So I do think there's a continuing trend. We're going to see a lot of developments on as well. You know, I think we're going to see much more human-like experiences developing. We're going to see AI, you know, kind of playing, you know, a role in how we, you know, in, in the media industry, in the ad industry. So it's really going to be a trend that's here to stay that's going to touch all the industries. So I don't think it's about what is not here. It's about really sort of developing what we know is already here in its early stages.